Now we need to create a function called add to cart so we can add items to the cart. And here we're going to pass in a parameter of product. And then we need to see if our item is already in the cart. So we'll use an if statement. We want to use our cart variable and we need to use our sum method. Inside of this method, we'll create a callback function passing a cart item parameter. And we want to see if our cart item dot underscore ID is equal to the product dot underscore ID. So what this is doing is it's going through our cart and it's seeing if we have an item in the cart with an ID that is equal to the new product that we're trying to add. And if that is the case, we want to alert the user and say item is already in your cart. But if it's not already in the cart, we need to add it. So we'll use an else statement use our alert again, and then we want to tell the user item added to cart. And then we actually need to add it to the cart using our set cart state function. And we want to pass an array to this and we need to include any values that are already in our cart local storage. So we'll use the spread operator followed by cart. And then we need to add a new object. So we'll create that object, add all the values from the product that we need to add. And we need to initialize a quantity of one. Tap here for more.